back class. In this video, we are going to study a new category of the organs, the actual ordinary organs. This is an independent category of the organs in the Zhangfu theory. The reason why we need to have a separate category of the organs is because these organs are different from the Zhang organs and Fu organs. As we studied previously, we understand that the Zhang organs, although they have different functions, they share the similar function of storing. For example, they store the, the essence. The Fu organs, they need to discharge. They store the food, but they have to discharge. They should not store the food for a long term. The extraordinary organs, they need a similar to the Zhang organs, not the full organs. As from the function, some of the extraordinary organs, they can store something. For example, the gallbladder, the, uter the, the uterus, they can store something, they have the function of storing. However, they hold up the inside. So if this is from the shape, they are similar to the full organs. Apart from the functions, the Zhang organs, they have paired this relationship. For example, the, the heart and the small intestine, the lung and the large intestine, the liver and the gallbladder, the kidney and the bladder. As we study, we have introduced all of them the paired relationship because in the functions they support each other they stay very close to each other so we said they are coupled organs in the actual ordinary organs they don't have the paired relationship they are independent there are six actual ordinary organs the brain the marrow the bones vessels gallbladder and uterus in this session we are going to focus on the brain and uterus the marrow will be introduced with the brain the bones we have introduced in the session of the kidney as the bones and the teeth are the body continuums of the kidney the vessels we're going to introduce in the next video the gallbladder we have introduced in the full organs. The gallbladder is considered as the full organ as well as the actual ordinary organ. Firstly, the brain. The brain locates in the skull and is where the marrow accumulates. In Huangdi Neijing, it described that the brain is the sea of the marrow. Although the Zhangfu theory agrees that the five Zhang organs are the most essential, and all treatments will be based on the five Zhang organs. As stated in the Huang Di Nei Jing, the brain is an important organ of human body, as it is where the life comes from. The Huang Di Nei Jing says, the, the development of the life, firstly, is from, is from the formation of the axons. And then it is followed by the marrow and the brain. This is in the this was specified in 2,500 years ago, which is in agreement with modern medicine. Although we use different terms, we use axons, we use the marrow and brain. This is this is very similar to the development of the fetter in the in the initial stage. From the functions of the brain, dominating the life activities, dominating the senses, dominating the motion and lumps of the lumps and the chunk. The life activities including the conscious, consciousness, the thoughts, emotions, psychological aspects, all these life activities, when you see these functions, do you ring any bells? Are they similar to something that we have mentioned previously? Some students may realize that 
these functions are very similar to the functions of the heart. This is true that the brain's function is very close related to the heart function. One of the reasons is because the Zhang Fu theory we based on the five Zhang organs. The brain is not part of the Zhang organs. The function of the brain was were developed in the 17th and 18th century. That's because of the influence, the influence from the convention, conventional medicine. That's also when the conventional medicine was introduced to China. At that time, the practitioners tried to find something in common in these two medicines. So this was the new development in Chinese medicine. However, we have to highlight that in the treatments, although we agree that the, these functions are actually from the brain, in our treatments, we still focus on the heart. If patients suffer from the brain, the, the proper diseases related to the brain in the treatments, we still focus on the heart. The reason is because in our theory, the brain's function is still under the category of the heart function. As the heart houses the mind, houses the spirit, the life activities is part of the spirit. For example, the unconsciousness is a medical condition that is directly related to the brain. In Chinese medicine treatments, we will apply the treatments, the, the principles of opening the heart orifice, either from the, using the herbal medicine or acupuncture. As from the theory, the unconsciousness may be still considered as the dysfunction of the heart. So when we study the functions of the brain, we need to revise the functions of the, the heart. And then we need to compare these two different organs. Dominating the sense, these, sense, these senses including your vision, your hearing, the smelling and, your, and the taste. So these senses related to the eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and tongue. These organs are directly connected with the brain. The brain is dominating the motion of the limbs and chunk. This has been proved by the commercial medicine. The brain is the sea of the marrow. It links to the marrow directly, uh, directly. The marrow is developed from the axons, which is stored in the kidney. Therefore, the brain is related to the kidney. The brain function will rely on the kidney axons. This includes the innate and the acquired axons. On this point of view, in the clinics, when we see patients with, the, with diseases with the brain, in the treatments, we may really, we may focus on the kidney. On the other hand, if a patient suffers from the problem related to the kidney, the patient also may present with some symptoms that are related to the brain, such as the poor memory. So in this situation, we will focus on the treatments of kidney axons. The brain, the it's related to kidney, apart from the kidney, the brain is also related to, actually related to all different sound organs. For example, we have mentioned that the functions of the heart and the brain are very similar. The heart and brain are linked together. So in the treatments, we may treat the heart and the brain at the same time. When talking about the brain and the lung, the lung governs the qi and also governs the, the, the vessels that's related to the blood. The brain will need the supply from the qi and blood. This can reflect the relationship between the lung and the brain. The brain and the spleen, the spleen, the spleen and stomach, these are the, uh, the organ where the acquired qi comes from. That's where the nutrition comes from. 
all the nutrition supply for the brain is actually from the spleen. Although these these supplies will be supported by other organs as well, so it will be the combination of the five sound organs. The liver, the liver governs the qi blood. The liver also stores the blood, qi blood, and the blood also nourishing the the brain. The brain and the kidney. It's mainly focused on the, the marrow and the kidney axioms. So as you can see from this point of view, that the brain is related to all different organs. More specifically, okay. the, the brain is the brain is, foc is related to the zhang organs. When the brain is related to the zhang organs, it is actually relate, related to the, the whole body as the zhang organs is linked to the, the, the five zhang organs are linked to all different tissues, all other organs. The brain's, fun the brain's function will rely on the support and the assistance from all five zhang organs. That's why in the treatments for the brain's problem, we will also focus on different, or different zhang organs. We not only focus on the brain, we not only focus on the kidney, we will focus on all five zhang organs. It depends on which organs dominant. The marrow is considered as another extraordinary organs. The marrow links to the brain directly. The marrow also stores in the spine and the bones. The marrow in Chinese medicine is developed from the innate essence and it is nourished by the acquired essence. The function of the marrow, it has the function of nourishing the brain, it has the function of supporting the bones and transform the blood. As the marrow is related to the brain, to the, to the marrow in the spine, in the bones, and it can transform the into the blood. So a patient suffer from diseases that is related to the brain, related to the bones, and related to the blood, such as the blood deficiency in Chinese medicine or anemia. In this situation, we will consider the treatments towards the marrow. When we consider the treatments towards the marrow, we will focus on the treatments of the kidney. Again, we base back to the five zhang organs. As the marrow is developed from the axons, it is developed from the innate essence, and then it was not it is nourished by the acquired essence. So in the treatments, if the patient suffers from blood deficiency, we think that's that's from the axons deficiency. When we see the axons deficiency, we need to think about the kidney. That's why our treatments we are focused on the kidney. This essence need to be nourished by the acquired essence. The innate essence may be deficiency, and then the acquired essence need to support to need to nourish the innate essence. So in the treatments, apart from the kidney, we, we need to focus on the spleen and stomach where the acquired qi, acquired axons, comes from. The uterus located in the abdomen behind the bladder and in front of the intestines. The uterus in Chinese medicine it not only refers to the uterus itself from the anatomy, it refers to the whole internal genitalia in females. This can be proved from the functions of the uterus, controlling the menstruations, and gestating the fetus. Controlling the menstruations, the menstruation is the mature sign of a female. This is the development of the axons, especially the kidney axons as well. During the menstruation cycle, the, the lady will 
ovulate we also will present of as ovulating the ovulating is not a function of the physical uterus it's not the function of the physical uterus so the uterus in chinese medicine actually refers to the whole system as the menstruation is one of the function of the uterus including the uh, ovulating so patients suffer from menstruation problems suffer from in infertilities or fertility problems we will focus on the treatment of the uterus the function of the uterus also can be reflected from the menstruation for example the the cycle of the menstruation the property of the blood the color of the blood we can we can see the uterus condition from these different aspects another very important function of the uterus is gestating the fetus the uterus is the area where the fetus grow although similar to other organs the functions of the uterus are actually related to all different organs the uterus is related to the kidney liver the heart and spleen the uterus is very close related to the kidney as the menstruation is one of the function of the uterus and the menstruation is supported by the kidney it's spe more specifically the kidney axons this axons includes the innate and the acquired axons consequently we can see the kidney function and the uterus function from the menstruation that's why in our practice we will ask the the property of the menstruation such as the volume the cycle and the properties if a patient presents with the menstruation problems the treatments may be focused on the kidney there was one patient who had her first period at the age of 16 and she always had a delayed menstruation a cycle normally 40 to 50 days when I asked her parents' age, she told me that both her parents were in their forties when she was born. In this case, how do we how do we analyze the reason of her menstruation problems? Is there any relationship with her parents? The answer is yes, as her parents were considered as the senior age when she was born. She would have poor kidney essence and this can be reflected in her late menarche and delayed menstruation in cycles which call which can be could be explained as the signs of a kidney deficiency although the uterus is closely related to the kidney its function are supported by all different organs for instance the heart the liver and the spleen the heart governs the blood and vessels the heart houses the mind the uterus the menstruation is from is also part of the blood the liver governs the qi flow which will determine the flow of the menstruation the liver stores the blood this is also the source of the menstruation the spleen is where the acquired qi comes from this is also the foundation of the blood from this point of view we, under, we understand that the uterus the uterus function are supported by all different organs on the other hand if the patient suffer from dysfunction of the uterus such as the problems with menstruation the problems with the Fertility, the fertilities are tremors. We need to focus on the kidney, but not only the kidney. We need to look for other organs as well, according to the symptoms and signs. 
The functions of the uterus also related to different meridians, as we have haven't studied the meridians. We here we just mentioned that the function related to the Tsong meridian and Ren meridian. The uterus also connects to all different meridians. In future, when we study the meridians, we will see that we will introduce that there are many different meridians that directly or indirectly links to the uterus. In this video, we mainly focus on the discussion of the brain and the uterus. As explained, the brain in charge of the life activities. This is very similar to the functions of the heart. So when we see patients with the with problems with the brain, we need to consider the brain as well as the heart. As the brain links to the marrow directly. And the marrow is developed from the axons, more specifically the kidney axons. So the brain function is also linked to the kidneys. The uterus mainly focus on the, the function of the menstruation and the fetus. And the menstruation is also related, related to the kidney axons. So these two organs, the brain and the uterus, these two are related to the kidney directly. However, they also related to other organs as the kidney essence has to be nourished by the acquired essence, which is from the spleen and stomach. The maturation is a, a kind of blood. This blood is governed by the heart, controlled by the spleen. The liver stores the blood. The liver governs the qi flow, which will determine the, the blood flow. So as you can see, that's the uterus also related to all organs. So in our treatments, we need to think more broadly. We should not be limited in within one or two organs. We need to find proof, evidence, or to support your diagnosis. In the next video, we are going to clarify some body constituents. Thank you for your attention.